AMAWA has a very busy advocacy agenda on behalf of the doctors of this state, but I want to focus this week on doctors in training who are front of mind with the recent release of the hospital health check survey results, which didn't show any huge surprises in terms of the level of burnout of junior doctors in this state, which can be directly related to the massive workforce shortages where hundreds of doctors short. And we continue to lobby the state government to do more to attract and retain doctors because the health system and the patients of this state are ultimately the ones that suffer longer waiting lists for elective surgery, longer waiting lists for public outpatient clinics, ambulance ramping and all those other issues related to hospital capacity. We've had some good wins on the industrial side for doctors in training, including ensuring that rosters are properly paid as they are written and ensuring that mandatory training time, for example, for interns is properly paid, but there's always more to do. The industrial agreement will be set for renegotiation in the near future and we're going to be making it extremely clear to government that the doctors of this state are burnt out and dissatisfied and need to be properly recognised if this health system, if the future of this health system is of importance to the government and if the government wants its legacy to be the world class health system that it always uh, likes, to, likes to claim that that we have. And I agree, we do have a world-class health system. We've got some of the best doctors in the world, but doctors don't work in isolation. There's a workforce summit coming up shortly that AMAWA will be participating in, organised by the state government. We'll be using this as an opportunity to put doctor and training, um, specialty training pipeline issues firmly on the agenda. This is something that has been festering for a long time. We know that there aren't enough training places. We know there's a huge bottleneck for training um, and we want to see better coordination between the colleges and, the, and, and WA Health as the employer, as well as of course the private hospitals in which more and more training is now occurring. And of course, general practice training has to be a central part of the discussions around workforce in this state. Thank you.